The second folder of the 3D Object Studio library is called Pavement Modular and this folder contains two different objects. The first is called Pavement. It's a more complex and detailed object for a particular use. And the second is called Simple Pavement Breakwall Object. So let's start with the second. It's a simpler object and it will make the pavement description easier. So create the object. I saw the object and unfold its hierarchy. It contains a MoGraph cloner object. It's the key object of the rig. And it uses two different effectors as well. Don't delete them. And don't change them please. Just use the root object. Set the simple pavement break wall object again and use the user data tab here. It contains all the settings and parameters of the rig. As you can see, the rig uses a special material as well. The material used uh, by the shader effector we saw. The material controls odd lines movement. Is here. So we can shift all odd lines with the value here. Let's change the object orientation. Let's say it's a brick work at the moment. And we can adjust the brick size of all these elements. We can use a bit more common dimension of a brick. Let's say the brick width should be 30. Brick height should be 75 and the depth should be 15. It looks much better I guess. Let's say we have to make the wall a bit longer. So use the total width approx value. We can set approximate values here only because the real dimension is affected by brick size and the gap size between all the bricks in the wall. So let's play with the gap value and it will change the look of the wall, but it doesn't affect the total width and height settings. We can check the real dimension of the wall in the info box group. Okay, set the gap value to 1 for example and increase the total width of the setup. Perfect. And we can increase the total height as well. And it's like before. Also the object real height is different and affected by other settings of the rig. And here is the even line offset. Go closer and check any corner. We can fill up all these details with the fillet radius option here. Here is the use subdivision value. And the last parameter of uh, the group is Fong. However, let's imagine uh, we can fill the brick for instances afterwards. So use the object as it is without an fillet. Set the radius to zero. Because we can use a new bevel deformer instead of the fillet parameter. The bevel deformer is a new feature of Cinema 4D release 16. Let's say I would like to disturb the current look of the wall. Use the MoGraph module menu, effectors and choose random effector here. Select the rig object and it contains the effector field here. So drag and drop and place the random effector to the effector link field. I select the effector and adjust its position settings here. And we can use some rotation. So activate the rotation option and increase these values a bit. It looks much better I think. Nevertheless, Bricks aren't rounded. We will adjust it, no worries, but we will improve the object first. Select the rig object and press the Alt key and create a new connect object. It will be placed as a parent object of the rig. And select the connect we made, press the Alt and create a new null object. It's placed as a parent of the connect, of course. The null is selected. Press the Shift key and create a new bevel deformer. That's all. So the bevel deformer and we can adjust the offset value here. It means the fillet radius. And here is the subdivision used. It's very nice. It works really well. Let's say we would like to have some opening here. It should be a window, for example. Okay, 
that's not a problem. Turn off the deformer and add a new parameter cube to the scene. The cube will play the opening roll. Go to the front view and adjust the cube size and position. I will place it here for example. Perfect. Select the connect object we made, press the Alt key and let's create a new bool object. Assert the cube and place it as a child of the bool we just made. Assert the bool and activate create single object option here. That's all and activate the bevel deformer again. It's really cool, I really like the bevel object. We can combine more objects together and we can get a very interesting and complex result. Such as this object, pretty complex object we made. Ok, it was the simple pavement brick wall object. We have tested and used all parameters the object offers. Here is the total width, total height, offset, we can still adjust it of course. Let's try it. Ok, here is the gap and all brick dimension settings. It means width, height, depth, filter radius, subdivision, it doesn't use at the moment. And Fonk angle. And the info box here shows the real dimensions of the setup. So it's really enough about the object. Let's continue to the next chapter. I will show you the second pavement rig I prepared for you there.